The American Planning Association has recognized Arlington's commitment to planning and smart growth. We'll tell you more about the gold-winning team later in our program, but first... Arlington County Board Chair Jay Fassett surveyed 20 years of change, growth, and development in Arlington and looked toward future challenges during his State of the County Address to the Arlington Chamber of Commerce. Let's see. Okay, it's kind of interesting to think about your own legacy. Um, I, I guess it, for me, it would be helping to guide uh, the, over t uh, the 20 year transformation of a community uh, into the urban success story that we are. And change is hard. And doing that um, in a way that, that has resulted in. Uh, a community that's a model in so many areas of public life, um, while at the same time protecting the connectedness and the compassion of a small town. And there are a lot of things that have to happen to make that kind of a recipe work. And I think most people in this room are part of that success story, are part of that compassionate network, are part of that, that um, technology expansion and the building boom and the transportation system and all the things that have to work together. So I think it'd be being part of that stability and leadership um, through the 20 years um, of that transformation. Stay true to the vision and values. Ground yourselves in solid planning and policy. Listen and lead. And then finally, respect and be informed by the past while continuing to be open to new and creative ideas for the future. The Chamber also presented its Valor Awards, honoring <clears throat> exemplary actions by Arlington's first responders. Members of Arlington's police, fire, and sheriff departments and the Office of Emergency Management were recognized for their heroic efforts in the line of duty. To learn more, go to arlingtonchamber.org. The Four Mile Run Valley Working Group is holding a community open house on July 19th at 7 p.m. at the Parks and Natural Resources Building. Come and share your ideas and feedback on draft concepts of land uses and urban design, parks, recreation and open spaces, and street design and transportation in the area. Learn more about the program at projects.arlingtonva.us. Search 4MRV. And there are more opportunities for your voice to be heard as the Draft Public Spaces Master Plan is ready for review. The Parks Department will hold three nights of public events to show off the draft plan on July 13th, 14th, and 15th. They'll have interactive stations and brief presentations. Take part and share your ideas to help Arlington plan for our parks and recreation places and spaces. Prior to the meetings, the draft will be posted online for review and comments. Get more information at parks.arlingtonva.us, search POPs. We're so proud that the American Planning Association has recognized Arlington's commitment to planning and smart growth with the Gold Award. Arlington was one of 12 National Award recipients, and the Gold Award is the profession's highest honor. We were singled out for our over 50-year commitment to smart growth and its thoughtful implementation through the General Land Use Plan. Let's take a look. Congratulations to you all. I'm pleased that I was able to come today and partake in the ceremony. It's well-deserved. So from uh, the APA, I give you this award uh, from that. This is a great day for Arlington. Uh, the American Planning Association, which represents thousands of citizen, uh, professional, elected uh, planners across the country, is honoring Arlington County with its 2017 National Achievement Award for implementation of our general land use plan. For over 50 years, Arlington County has been committed to sound and strategic planning for our entire community, but most importantly for our metro corridors. Uh, we have been known nationally and internationally for our commitment to our general land use plan uh, and the planning that now occurs throughout Arlington County. Uh, again, Arlington has been a champion for smart growth long before communities embraced the concept across the country. And again, this award recognizes Arlington County's commitment, which is really a truly American planning success story. 
Well, I think it's significant because what it represents is Arlington's long-term view towards planning. Um, Arlington invested in Metro now 50 years ago, and Arlington has uh, invested in planning, uh, and they've stayed the course, and that's not typical for many jurisdictions, and I think that's what the APA is recognizing, that they put all this investment into planning, and they've stayed consistent about it, uh, and they've made very many good decisions. To learn more about Arlington's planning process and smart growth, search for planning on our website. And some of Arlington's future planners are getting an early start. A group of third graders from Patrick Henry Elementary School created 3D maps of Columbia Pike and the surrounding neighborhoods and testified before the board about the kind of community they'd like to see along the pike. To see the video of their presentations, go to countyboard.arlingtonva.us and click on the Meetings tab. After six months of intensive study and community feedback, members of the Joint Facilities Advisory Commission, or JFAC, recommended that Arlington County acquire the Buck and Carlin Springs sites. In a series of meetings and open houses, community members strongly endorsed the idea of acquiring land for public facilities. To learn more about what went into the decision and how JFAC is exploring options to resolve Arlington Public Schools and county's facilities and storage needs, go to commissions.arlingtonva.us and search JFAC. Well, that's it for this edition. You can find out more about events going on around Arlington by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking our website at arlingtonva.us. And we'll see you next time around Arlington.